We have the entire land hand. We cannot keep that. Okay, we can keep a two land hander. We'll get rid of one tyrant scorn. Since we don't have blue, it makes the most sense. We see a okay, Darkstick Shore. Blue black. What's blue black in explore? It could be a control matchup. Or it could be an aggro matchup. Okay. Evolve sleeper. Demolition field. Pay two life. We'll pass it back. Actually, let's run out of voice of resurgence here. My argument is if they go for demolition field to try and punish us, we can fix our colors, but we should at least run out one of our spells that's restricted currently. It also might enforce them to try and go for a. Uh... Yeah, you know what? If you uh, want to pump mana into your evolved sleeper to help him out. We still get a token. Our opponent plays a surge engine. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's shock this in. Or we'll tyrant scorn, destroy the surge engine. Is this some kind of like training grounds deck? I don't know about in the format currently. Because I've run into a similar deck like this previously when recording. Let's see what they do here. Okay. Disinformation campaign. We'll get rid of Wargrove Walker. They play another land. Is this surveil? Does this surveil? No, these things don't surveil. Of course we'll find another Niv Mizzet. It is always fun when you uh, wind up with the. Um... Uh, you know what? We'll put Giganfer into hand here. The reason we'll do that is we could answer something here, but if they deploy a huge threat here. Okay, Fee for Sanity. Is this just like a fun stuff deck? We just need a land, please, computer. You gave us seven in our opening hand. I swear. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll just keep casting spells. Malachia Rebirth, yep. Okay, that's coming back. We can attack in. They're gonna steal something from us. That's fine. But if I don't find a land soon, I think I'm just done. Okay. Well, there's one of our lands gone. There's a shield raid. Great, so we'll just vanishing versus that in the intro. Can we get a land? No, okay, I'm gonna concede because triple, quadruple five drops and no goddamn land. But you know, you wanna give me my five lands for my opener? That's perfectly acceptable game. I mean, of course, we draw, you know, every one of these five drop cards. <laughs> you gotta love it when Arena goes, <laughs> I was reading on Reddit that many people think that there is still a very significant algorithm shuffler. For those who don't know, there was an issue where when original Arena was originally launched where they had a hand smoothing algorithm where you could run a deck with like 15 mountains, mono red burn, and they would still give you a good hand because, of course, it doesn't make sense for the Arena shuffler to give you a bad hand because that would incentivize you not to play. But a lot of people on Reddit are kind of claiming that there's like a sculpted thing that learns your play patterns like knows when your cutoff is so they, they can like give you your bad seeds and things 
Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm okay with this. We'll go for Drowned Catacomb. We'll go for the Kaito, drop the third land, and then we can pray we can draw something. So play Drowned Catacomb. Turn one involves Sleeper for the opponent, that's fine. We'll shock this in. We'll go to Kellen. Play another land, pass back. Okay, they hold that to a 2-2. It's fine. I really need a land. I just gotta keep hitting land drops, please. That is not a land, so we'll pass. Again, we're screwed on free. Like this. Or. Whatever. <laughs> like I said. There's no way of knowing. Take the two here. Play Demolition Field information campaign I am going to you know what we have that we don't need to worry so let's crack the clue see if we can draw something we draw another Kellen because of course we do I think we went down to two to put the urgent necrotency in there's our niv because you know we're only allowed to draw our nibs no goddamn fourth land oh I swear I'm losing it here. Yeah, we'll vanish and verse it now. Fine. Another land would be fantastic. I swear to swear word. This is goddamn ridiculous. Well, they've hit every land perfectly, and I bet they run less lands than us, and less ramp, but, you know, we're allowed to do whatever the hell- Hey, look! Oh, now we've wasted our time, we're allowed our next land. Because, of course, we are. Voice of Resurgence into the counter spell. Come on, you've got the counter spell. This is the play against it. There we go. Now the environmental studies. Uh, we're gonna black. We're gonna black. Yeah, we might as well. We've got a lot of black in the deck. Okay, another land. There's a shieldred. That's perfect for us. See what else they do. Land. We could have another. What we got in the graveyard? No, nope, we're gonna go for it. No artifact. One creature. One enchantment. Zero. Uh, we've got to hit seven, so four, five, six, seven. You know what? We're going to get the whole graveyard. That's fine. Oh, and they surveil back to the hand, which gives them... Beyond perfect information again. 
And they hit another land drop because, of course, they're allowed their land drop, aren't they, game? What an amazing synergy for them to be able to hit their land drops. I mean, oh, it feels like, you know, if only I was allowed to play the game that I'm trying to play. I'm only doing this because I want to resolve my nerve while I tapped out. And we probably know they have Malakia Rebirth and all that crap, so let's just get this. We will discard... this Tyrant Scorn. Okay, so we got a ton of things here. Did we, uh... You know, did we get lucky with lands, maybe? You know, an ability to play them. Have some fun. Actually give this guy a challenge so he doesn't just steamroll because... You know, they've been allowed to hit every land drop perfectly and curve out really well. No? Well, my word, what a shocking surprise. We weren't allowed to play the game. treasure cruise because yeah of course <laughs> and now they gain all the life back we got another million counter spells to keep them alive that's fine let's go with molten collapse you can bounce your shield it again you don't care yep there's another bounce to keep Shelly alive because yeehaw, we aren't going to get to play, are we? Saddest thing is, it's, it's a coolish deck, but it just. It's only doing this shit because we just can't uh, apparently win the game. You know? Apparently, we're not even allowed to just play magic. Yeah, there's their land drop again. You know, they only got a little bit more card draw. Okay, we're going to Assassin's Trophy now. This way, they don't get any value out of that Shelly if they go for the thing. Oh, they didn't. How interesting. Tyrant Scorn can go away. Another disinformation campaign again. We can discard that. Okay, let's just try and break out, see if we can get lucky. We find a Niv, that's pretty good. Play it. We only have the one green again. And one red. Oh my god. Okay, we'll put Gigantra into hand. Hit him for two. Great. Oh. Yep, they have the perfect edict effect. They have search for scanter. So this, this is just a control list. They probably got three counter spells in hand. can't hit non-basics. Sure, you know what? A of white. Take action. Grab the red. I'm gonna helix you in your face. I'm gonna counter check now. Now, counter check, 
Confirmed. No counter. Interesting. Take action. We'll get the green out. And you could try for the Niv here. See what we can get from there. Uh, we'll take the cram session. Man, we are not drawing anything good. So Veil 1, they're going to get their things back to their hand and they may transform it. Which they do. Another Sheldred Edict. We're not even going to come close to winning this, are we? Helix can go away. Next one comes down. Oh, there's a shield drill. That's fun. There's another disinformation campaign. We can lose Giganfa. And now they draw the life back that they lost. They get to play a land. And then evolve Sleeper. Okay, so let's start with the basics. So let's exile that. Let's cram sessions. Containment breach. And then I can't do anything else, so I've got to pass back. Yep. Malakia Rebirth, of course. And the land. Yep. Okay, something's BS about that. They leave perfectly enough to Malachia Rebirth and pay for a No More Lies. No, something's sus there. Something's sus as hell. Uh, yeah, we'll let that resolve. It doesn't matter. Hey, look, here's one of our goddamn lands. Finally! Fifty damn minutes too goddamn late. No more lies. Finally found some relevant damn spells. Doesn't matter. We can play that. I think we're just screwed though. We can't compete with the fact that we just screwed up on mana for so long. Yeah, you know what, we're done. Again, just wizards deciding we don't get to have lands. I think it's because I play so many, sh well, if I believe the theory that it escapes your play experience based on your thing. They know I'm good for three or four games. So, I think they're just... Uh, that was a miserable game. Let's try and get a different one. 